Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another uh, Legends of Runeterra video. Uh, in the last video we did, in fact, just go over here on the play... Okay, yeah, they've all been sent to the bottom. And we just completed all these little tutorial-like things, and... We then got... Uh, because we also completed the prologue, and then got sent to this. So apparently there's a bunch of different regions, uh, with... And you choose which one you want to be active, and then you explore that region and obtain... Um, and I guess you only get boosted experience all the way up to here, and then after that you don't. But then you and you just obtain all these rewards. Lee Sin, the Blind Monk. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, and then you just obtain all these rewards, and there's literally so many different regions. I don't understand. I don't know anything about League of Legends to this detail at all. So to me, it's a bit like, oh my god, what's going on? But that being said, you know what? I'm okay with this. So in this in this video, um. Hopefully it won't take as long as the last one. I do just want to do complete these little these last few challenges that are still left. These ones that say new. So tune to magic. Let's do this. And this will be the end of these tutorial style videos here uh, for Rune Terra. I do oh hang on. There you go. There you go. I do have one uh, video where I actually do um, just verse AI that will be coming after this one. Uh, that I actually recorded before this one, but so I, I bear with me if I don't really know what I'm doing or if I say things that I should have like that I've already learned about in these videos. But you know what? Like whatever. Um, that was my first experience with the game, so I do want to uh, upload that regardless. Anyways, harness the power of a tune to win this round. What is a tune? I haven't encountered this yet. When I'm summoned, refill one spell mana. Oh, that's really cool. Also really broken. Oh, so broken. Okay. Stun an enemy to summon a tail of the dragon. Which is, when I'm recalled, transform me into concussive palm. Why doesn't it tell me what concussive palm... Oh. Oh! Oh my god, these... Okay, so you can just keep recalling this. Oh, that's really cool. That's a really, really cool mechanic. But now we can play this, and then... His turn, he doesn't do anything. Stun him. Then that transforms into a 3-2, and 2 plus, and that's stun, so that can't block. So now 3 plus 2 is 5 damage. Simple enough. A tune seems busted. That's pretty cool. A tune lets you summon creatures and cast spells to speed your victory. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. But yeah, um... I'm just going to upload the, that video anyways, the one where I don't really know what I'm doing yet, because even though it is against the AI, it was my first experience with the game, really, so I'm all for it. And then after we've concluded all these tutorials, I'm just going to play off screen for a bit. I'll say this while the screen is still looking like this. I'm just going to play off screen for a bit and then actually um, come to you guys with an actual deck that I create next time. It probably won't be a good deck, but I'll still try. <laughs> I'll still try. Here's the trickier attune challenge. Win this round. Okay, sounds good. Tricky is what I'm all about. Lee Sin, when you when you cast a spell, give me Challenger this round. If you cast another, give me Barrier. Wow, that sounds broken. And cast seven spells. When you cast a spell, give me Challenger. If you cast another, give me Barrier. Dragon's Rage, enemies that I challenge. I Dragon's Rage, enemies that I challenge. Dragon's Rage being... Skill... Wait... A unit spell-like effect that allows enemy reactions. An ally kicks an enemy into the enemy nexus, striking both. If the enemy survives, recall it. Oh. Um. That's broken? Excuse me? Excuse the fuck out of me? That's really broken. Okay. So they said we needed to use a tune. We have three mana. Recall an ally to create a fleeting return in hand. What is a fleeting return? For one mana... Summon an ally that costs three or less from your hand. And then this costs three. When I summon, create a dragon's protection in your hand. For two mana, grant an ally plus zero plus three. So, if I play this first, that attunes. So now we have three mana. We can... Play this. To recall this, presumably. Which then... Gives that, yeah, gives that challenger. He's only on four health, and this is just four attack. I see what I'm supposed to do. So now I can do this to summon this. 
Exactly, and that gives this divine shield as well. Or shield, or barrier it's called, okay. And then I can attack with both of these to force that one to block here. This one doesn't even take damage, and he takes four and dives. That's pretty neat. I like that. Attune units combine well with your spells to surprise your opponents. Well, that's pretty obvious, yeah. They have spell in their card effect. I kind of would have guessed that much, but okay. That was simple enough. Kind of was hoping there was a third one there, but sure. Oh, I see. Oh no, I guess it was already counting towards Ionia in the previous game, or in the previous video, even though I hadn't activated that yet. Attune to magic. So that one's done. Now the deep dive. Tackle Bilgewater's new toss keyword, which throws out cards from your deck and deep, which empowers... Oh, I see. So they've actually already had an expansion. I didn't realize that. I thought this game hadn't had any expansions yet. Kind of bothers me that they have. Not gonna lie. A tiny bit. Tiny bit. I kind of was really enjoying the notion that I was coming into this game at, you know, point zero. But I guess that was... Uh, I, I should have just started playing it sooner for that to be true. The Deep Dive. Deep, Toss, and Fearsome. We have a Spider. Dive deep into your deck to crush your enemy this round. So I actually do know what diving deep is about. It's about um, having less than 20 cards left in your deck. Which is half your deck, right? Two away from deep. The beast below. So you don't actually get to see how many cards you have, which is interesting to me. Kill an ally to drop two. Okay, so... And then, sorry, hang on. This is the beast below. Tamaj has, uh, my friend has actually mentioned this to me before. Um, what is deep, though? I have plus three plus three. Once you, once you have... Once your deck has... Oh, no, sorry. Fifteen or fewer, not twenty or fewer. Okay, it's still, though. Still. That's still a little... Like, it should be ten, realistically, I think, from what he's been telling me about it. But it's okay. So destroy this. Now, that puts me in deep range. Oh, and I drew another one. And now we're in deep. Wait, what does that do exactly? One thing at a time. Kill an ally to draw two. So why did I get to two? If I was two away from deep, why did I get to deep in the first one that I drew? Abyssal Eye, elusive and deep. Nexus strike, draw one. You're deep. What? What does that mean, you're deep? Oh, it's just a statement. You are deep. Okay. And now we have eight mana left, and he has half 14 health. So, I mean, he has a card, but presumably we, it doesn't matter. They, they just give you this to tempt you, basically, into playing something you shouldn't play. Sneaky, sneaky motherfuckers. Alright. That seems fair. <laughs> fair and balanced. When you delve far enough into your deck, units with deep get bigger. Makes sense, I guess. Not really, but sure. Kind of a boring mechanic, honestly, if you ask me, but okay. It's like, it's... Kind of how people described uh, Jade Idols back in the day. Now now I'm summon a bigger, bigger man! It's kind of what this reminds me of, but okay. Win this round by tossing out your cards to go deep. So toss four. What does toss do? Obliterate X non-champion cards from the bottom of your deck. That's really cool. Actually, that's really cool. Uh, Dread Dredgers, when I'm summoned toss three, how far away am I from deep? It doesn't say. Shouldn't it say? Didn't it just say how far away I was from deep? Is it supposed to say there? Nexus strike, draw one. Why is that? What? When I'm summoned toss three. Something is glitching out a little here, but um, I'm just going to assume I'm supposed to play both the one mana cards. Okay, that destroyed those three. And now this just gets rid of four more. Okay, which is just a bunch of those, and now I'm assuming these will be deep. Kind of weird that I couldn't tell um, how much, how far I was from deep there, but... Wait, I wasn't paying attention. This isn't gonna kill him. I forgot to attack with this. <laughs> I was literally not paying attention. Um, sure. No, I don't want to try again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just literally was not paying attention there, and I just forgot to attack with the 2-1. Oops-a-daisy. Yes, 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 I'm aware. Yeah, play this. Lose three dread dredgers. I wonder if this is an actual card. It's an interesting mechanic, but I feel like, it, again, it's very... Not... It's very stupid. Of all the things you could have come up with, really, that was the best thing? Just make them bigger? Like, deep shouldn't just make them bigger. Deep should activate an effect, right? Not just make the card into a bigger version of the card. That sounds very 
mediocre. Very average, even. Okay, but let's com conclude this little... Uh, toss and deep can be deadly when used together, yeah. Let's just conclude th this little tutorial then. Is there one more? I guess that's what this little um, cog spinning means. There's one more. Oh, what the hell are you? I didn't read that, but it's fine. Nautilus, when I level up, copy tossed allies that cost 4 plus into your deck. Oh, I see. It's, yeah, my friend again talked to me about this. He basically just complained about this. This is one of the best cards in the game right now, it would seem. When you are deep, we are 9 away. When you are level up, when you are deep, we are currently 9 away. When I level up, copy tossed allies. Okay. Sea monster allies cost 4 less. Oh my god, that's a 13 13. Wait, that takes 1 less than. Why? Just why? Nautilus is Riptide. Stun an enemy. Shuffle that enemy into... Okay, sure, that doesn't matter. Um, wait, everything that just happened. Why, though? Okay, and then this. Terror of the Tides. Deep. Sea monster allies have fearsome. Attack. Give enemies minus two, minus zero this round. Eight away from deep. So, plunder, cast cannon barrage. What is plunder? Card triggers this plunder ability when played if you damage the enemy nexus. Oh, that's raid. That is raid. Oh no, raid was when you attacked in magic, not when you dealt damage to the opponent. I'm sure there was one that was when you dealt damage to the opponent. There, I mean, probably. Play obliterate an enemy with less health than me. Eight away from deep. See, that's a, an interesting mechanic because with deep it gets bigger. So then, that, that's reasonably interesting, anyways. Um, don't really know what to do. We're eight away from deep, so presumably we just have to play these two, and then we'll have. Enough mana left over for- oh, I see. Actually, yeah, this is simple enough. So that doesn't currently have less health than this, right? So right now, we just jettison twice, get rid of those cards. Now we are deep. So, stupidly, this becomes a 13-13 for some reason. Um, although this is a really cool animation again. All the, the little animations seem really cool. Really, really cool. And then these have- this has Fearsome. Okay, this has Fearsome, so does this. These do not have Fearsome, so they can be blocked by this, but these are 18, so these two on their own are plenty. Um, I'm just wondering... Oh, wait, why does these cost less now? Excuse me? Oh, I must have missed that. Sea Monster Allies cost 4 or less. So now all my cards cost 0! Yay! This is not broken at all! <laughs> not in any way completely and absolutely busted. Oh, sorry, of course. Everything has Fearsome now as well because of this guy. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh my god, why? What is- what? Why? Why would you make something like this in your first expansion of the game? What the fuck? Okay, time for him to be able to do absolutely nothing. Oh right, and everything else gets minus 10 attack because of this, so now he can't even block with anything. Not a minus 25. What the shit? Okay. There basically there was so much going on there that I couldn't really keep track of it all. But the fact that that's even a thing, like, that I didn't even, like, so much just happened. That was way too easy. And that basically just explained to me why this deck is going completely nuts right now. They need to nerf that shit. I haven't even played against it yet. And I already know, I know you need to nerf that shit. Like, come on. That's, it's your first expansion. How do you do something like this? Plunder plays, or plunder pays. Bilgewater's Salty Crew of Reprobates get bonuses when you play them after you've blasted the enemy's nexus. Attackers with Overwhelm hit so hard that after you kill their blocker, and you left it- yeah, that's Trample. Okay, Plunder pays, let's do this. Jagged Butcher, Plunder, grant me plus one plus one. Use the power of Plunder to win this round. The first time an ally dies, grant me plus two plus two. That's really cool. That's really cool. Actually, I really like that card. Deal 1 damage to anything. If that kills it, deal 1... Oh, that works. Right. You don't need to attack to deal damage. You just need to... I actually really like the way this game works. So now that's dead. Now that's there. And now we can play this. And it gets plus 1 plus 1 because of the plunder. I also really like the plunder effect right there. And now he's dead. Yay! Simple and easy. Using plunder is a key part of the build wa uh, build wa build water banditry. Interesting. I don't like this, though. I, I don't like that this expansion seems like they're really trying to push the expansion, which makes sense, but really regretting not having gotten into this game sooner, not gonna lie. 
You've got one round to sink the enemy nexus. Sounds good. Deal two damage to an enemy and one to the enemy nexus. And then... But that's... No, that's exactly enough damage for lethal. It's the exact same thing we literally just did. Um, kind of like the the deep one, kind of wish they would have given us a little more deep, like a little more complexity to this, but okay, that was simple enough. Sure. It's interesting that a 1 mana 2-2 two, two seems to be a, an average stat line in this game. Finding creative ways to plunder is key to success. That's actually the opposite of what I decided to do in my game. I actually decided to tune it down massively. My average stat line for one drop was 1 mana 0-1 one or 1-1 one, one even. 1 mana 1-1 one, one with no text, basically, was my average stat line there. Here's your final plunder puzzle. Send the enemy nexus to the depth this round. What are you? Sapling with Ephemeral and Challenger, and then plunder cast cannon barrage seven times. Deal two damage to a unit if it's dead or gone. Deal one. Oh my god, this is dumb. This is really dumb. Okay. But I hate that they're adding random effects. I haven't encountered random effects yet. That seems silly. Overwhelm and tough. Okay, so basically, by playing this first, that leaves me enough mana to play that. I can just attack here. No matter what he blocks with, his Nexus takes at least one damage. Uh, technically only two. But that, or, or even, not only. Technically two, even. But now I can play this, and he just shoots my opponent into oblivion. Right? Uh, again, the animations are fantastic. The animations are absolutely fantastic. I'm really enjoying this. Just visually, this game is so appealing. It's kind of the magic try to do it, and failed miserably at with Magic Online. Or Magic Arena. I think that's what it's called, right? Magic Arena? It, it was just bad. That, nothing else needs to be said about that. It was just bad. We did unlock the vault, by the way. We'll go check that out in a little bit, but we also have to go check out the Ionia stuff now. Um, but again, we'll go check that out in a little bit. Uh, we can check it out now. We can check it out now. So let's see what we unlocked here in Ionia. We unlocked a bronze chest containing a rare wild card, a another one of these. I'm actually quite glad we got that. I want to make that deck. And some shards. All right, sounds good. And next up is the rare wild card. Wait, do we have this unlocked? No, we don't. Why is this? Okay, that was weird. And where is the chest? Or where is that vault thing? Is that a weekly thing? Locks on Tuesday. Um, I don't really know where to find that at, but I guess we'll find out. So we have three more of these to go. Um, let me try to hurry this up a little bit, but we're well within the time limit that I want to do this. For. Uh, okay, let's see. Learn how to deploy your scout units to test your opponent's defenses before sending in your full assault. That sounds interesting. Use challenger units to force tricky elusive enemies into fight. Makes sense. Scouting ahead. Scout, challenger, and something I didn't read. Ooh, that was a very cool animation. Use your scout units to break your enemy's offense and win the round. I just took one. Why did I take one? Deal round start. Deal one damage. Okay. Um, challenger. Scout. The first time only scout units attack each round. Ready your attack. Wait, what? Quinn create- wait, hang on. When I'm summoned, summon Valor. I see. Level up, I've seen you attack four times. Attack, summon Valor, challenge- I don't think this matters, but I'll read it. Summon Valor on attack, challenging the strongest enemy. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really cool, I like that. And then Valor is a scout. First time only scout units attack each round, ready your attack. Oh, I understand. So each time this happens, I get to attack again afterwards. When an attack token is illuminated, you can in initiate an attack. Oh, I guess I hadn't read that yet. And... Okay. So what does this do? So we get to attack again because we attacked with only scouts. Makes sense. Oh, was I meant to kill him? This is Oh, this is also a scout. Wait, I, I, I misplayed. Um, let me just end the round here. Because I definitely misplayed that. That was I wasn't paying attention. Fair. Or rather I was, but I, I just missed that this was a scout. Missed that keyword there. Okay, let's try that again. That one damage is just there to be there, it would seem. So I can force this to block here. And then because scout, now we get to attack again. 
Scout seems pretty nuts. Um, but sure, there's other equally nuts things that we've discovered so far, so that's fine. Yeah, and victory, yay! Okay. The, that makes sense, though. I like I like the scout mechanic, actually. I really do. Really, really do. But does that mean combining scouts with rally works? That could also be really fun. Here's a mix of scouts and standard units. Win this round. What are you? When, al when allies attack, do one damage to the enemy nexus. And what are you? A 4-3 with overwhelm. This is a scout with a shield on it. So he's on 3 health. Does this count itself? It does, I think. Or even if it doesn't, it'll go. the attack will go through anyway. So if I attack just with the scout here, this will do 1 damage, right? So this blocks. Okay. Um, yeah, and now, even if this doesn't count itself, he can't block both minions here. So I, the, the, the scouts being able to attack twice just sounds stupid, though. That, that sounds like it shouldn't be the case. So it doesn't count itself, but it still attacks my opponent, so that's fine. Okay. Simple and easy. One more to go, I suspect. One more to go. Um, my back is killing me. God. Team up your scouts with powerful backline support to earn victory this round. Alright, what are you? Oh, Miss Fortune! Hey, I know her! She is thick. Uh, let's... Actually, well, no. I don't know. When allies attack... I can't remember her well enough to be able to say that. Just remember, she is very much a sex appeal character. When allies attack, deal one three time... Okay, one damage, presumably. Three times to battling enemies and the enemy nexus. Okay. Um, sure. I mean, mana, so let's just play everything. This has a shield, and these are both scouts. Um, and this deals one damage to something as well. So I'm assuming this, yeah, scout, scout, scout. Oh, I see, that's the scout icon. Okay, that makes sense. Nope, come on. So only this thing has challenger. So actually, no, hang on. I want to force him to block here, like so. And then what are you, how do you evolve? If you, I've seen you attack four times. So I'm assuming this is one of four. Like this entire attack counts as one. Um, these aren't scouts, right? Yeah, so I can't block with them. But I think that's fine, right? He didn't block this guy. Makes okay, interesting. Oh, did I misplay? I feel like I might have misplayed. Why did I take damage? Don't really understand what just happened. Don't really care. He's probably dead. And you force force him to block there. Don't fully understand what is happening. Not gonna lie, but he is dead, so it's okay. That animation was a little too... That, that was a little too much animation, in my opinion. I couldn't quite tell what was going on there. Scouts benefit from having other powerful units in play. Two attacks mean double damage. Oh yeah. So I guess aggro is back, but... That deep deck seemed to, seemed to be more of a control-oriented deck. Uh, with a combo aspect to it, so that's interesting. Okay, and then we have a lot of play left in Ionia, but I'll do that mostly off-screen. Uh, easy pickings. Vulnerable enemies can be challenged by anyone. Use this newfound weakness to pick your enemies apart. You can directly attack vulnerable units. Oh, so there's a specific kind of unit now with the keyword vulnerable, presumably. Vulnerable and challenger. He's nearly dead. Uh, get two grips with vulnerable to claim victory this round. When I'm summoned, draw one, fleeting at next round start. Okay. Hired gun. When I'm summoned, grant the strongest enemy vulnerable. Plunder, grant one cost allies everywhere plus one. Okay. Plunder is when... When you play it after it's... Yeah, okay. So that now has vulnerable, what does that mean? Oh, I see. Vulnerable means I can assign it to block any way I want. So it's a reverse form of challenger, so to speak. Don't love it. That seems like... Pff, really, you already had challenger. Did you really need vulnerable? Like, you couldn't come up with anything else? But okay, sure, I'll take it. Why not? If I didn't know that was in the DLC, 
uh, not a DLC, but in the expansion. I probably wouldn't be complaining about it. Vulnerable 2. Use Challenger and Vulnerable together to win this round. He's on 3 health, I just play this. So, does it determine that's the strongest enemy because it's three, a 3-3 three, three as opposed to a 3-2? I'm assuming? Uh, okay. Force this to block here. And he's only on 3 health, so... I guess that doesn't really matter. Realistically, I probably want to... Do, oh no wait no this one has to go here because this one has challenger so I can I can't force this one to block there basically fair enough uh, but he's still taking three either way so that's that's that done vulnerable lets you decide who's going to block clearing the way for his strongest allies yep okay that feels like that should be something Thresh should have had. But the guy with the hook, right? We saw either earlier in this video or in, at the end of the previous video. I think at the end of the previous video, actually. Vulnerable enemies can be challenged by anyone. Use this new... Oh, wait. Barrel to victory. Powder kegs give your next damaging spell or skill extra boom. Learn how to light the fuse and run for cover. That's interesting. Having trouble learning some of the basics, check out the... No, no, I'm good. I am doing the challenges now, but that's... Just because that, that's the point of this little mini tutorial series we're doing. Overwhelm, Powder Keg, and Champions. Blow your opponent out of the water with Powder Kegs this round. Plunder, oh that guy. Overwhelm, when I'm summoned, summon a Powder Keg. What is a Powder Keg? Powder Kegs stack. All your spells and skills deal one extra damage. Destroy me when your spell or skill damages enemies. Can't attack or block. But is vulnerable. Gangplank par. Oh, that's the parlay. Okay, that's his uh his spell presumably. When I'm summon and round start, summon a powder keg. Attack deal one damage to all enemies and and the enemy nexus. You've damaged the enemy nexus in five different rounds. Well, that's quite difficult to uh upgrade then it would seem. But I have enough mana to do everything, so I'll play him first. Don't really see a reason not to. In fact, now that upgrades this. Deal 2 damage to anything if this kills it, deals 2 damage to Nexus. So I deal 2 damage to him, that kills it, then because of this, so presumably this now blows up, yep. And then this can attack and he goes down. Simple enough. Powder kegs are like, it's spell damage basically. Powder kegs have spell damage attached to them. But it's conditional spell damage that only has one use, so you have to stack them into one ex big explosion. That's I actually really like that mechanic. That's a really clever way to do that. Try to remember if I did anything similar to that. I don't think I did exactly that, but I did similar things with tokens that uh, got consumed. But not exactly that. In my in my own card game, right? The one I was creating before, and that this is very similar to, unfortunately. But anyways, you've got one round to sync the enemy nexus. Okay. Make it rain, deal one three times among different randomly targeted enemies and the enemy nexus. I don't like this randomly targeted thing. It, it wasn't a part of the game as far as I could tell before. So we have enough mana to do everything, presumably just play that thing first. And now... How is this gonna work? So it's three different ones, it would seem. Oh yeah, it says they're different... Among different randomly targeted things. So that, yeah, okay, that works, and now he's dead. Sounds good. Sounds fantastic, even. Alright, powder kegs amp up area of effect spells, too. Yeah, uh, why wouldn't they? Alright. Alrighty then, let's see. Ooh, a deep deck. Oh god, he's in deep. Okay, sink the enemy this round. Remember that powder keg stack while in play, just... My back is really starting to complain. Whew, okay. When I'm summoned, summon a powder keg, which he did, and then summon two powder kegs, summon two powder kegs, more powder, I like that. When I'm summoned and round starts, summon a powder keg. Oh, this is the upgraded version. Attack, deal two damage to all enemy, well, one, but presumably that stacks with the powder keg, so... Sure. Um, do I have enough room for all this? Oh, they stack in that way. Oh my god, that's even cooler. That's even better. So wait, if he blocks, if he drags one, does he drag them all? 
That's an interesting thing, right? I wish they would explain that. If he drags one, I'm assuming he drags them all. And just destroys all the powder cakes at once. Maybe? Kinda hard to tell from, from the way this works. So actually, despite him having a bunch of 7-7s, seven sevens, this is now doing 7 damage. So if I attack with both things, when this attacks, it's gonna blow up everything he has, right? Oh, he gets to block first. Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh no, this has Overwhelm, so that finishes off the game. Yeah, okay. Boom, stacked power kegs, pump, up damage from skills too. Alright, that was cool. That was nice. That was neat, even. Alright, I'm really, I mean, I like this powder keg mechanic, I really do. The others want, The other ones seem kind of cheap, but this powder ke keg mechanic seems really interesting. Oh, that was the last one! I'm actually kind of sad. We have done all the challenges then. And I do want to do an expedition, but that won't be today. Um, haven't versed it. You can see we still have these base three decks. In the next video, guys will see, which I have actually done um, already, before at the time of recording this. I have actually already uh, recorded that video. It was actually the third video I recorded of the series. Series, so to speak. Just this little, um, whatever this is. <laughs> this little uh, video segment. This segment, I guess, on Rune Terra. But you'll see in the next video I upload will, on Runeterra will actually be me just using uh, a bunch of these decks, or a, few, a couple of these decks, I can't actually quite remember, against the AI, just testing out some of the different mechanics. But I think that's everything we have for now. So rewards, we have the... we're halfway through to this rare wild card here. And then over in home, we have the vault. I don't... oh, I see! The more I play, the better my vault becomes for next week. That's quite neat. I do like that. I wonder if I can only pick one of these. I don't think so, right? Like, it'll, I can finish Ionia, then I can finish all the others. Um, presumably, I should actually be probably doing Bilgewater, because that's the newest expansion, and that will give me the most, the, the, the better cards right now or something. I already have 1,500. Whoa, hang on. What can I do with 1,500 of those? Starter bundle costs actual coins, which sucks. Every does everything cost coins? Seriously, does everything cost coins? Oh, suck a dick. What can I use this for, then? What can I use this for, then? Probably crafting cards? Wait, I haven't actually checked this out yet. So how does this work? Your cards. Brawls all your cards. You can also make a new deck or show unowned to see what you're planning on acquiring next. So let's do that. Oh, there we go. Show unowned. Fizz, for example. That would cost 3,000. Oh my god. Okay, legendaries are expensive, it would seem. Uh, alright. So let's focus on, for example, Ionia, which is the one we're leveling up right now, right? So how much is a common? A hundred. That's still not cheap. But it's not that bad. Like, if you compare it with Hearthstone, that a common was... Actually, no, it's worse. <laughs> it's so much worse. Is there a, a limit of the amount of the same copy of card you can put in your deck as well? I don't think we've encountered that anywhere yet. Anyways, none of that really matters. I'll be looking into all of that off-screen, guys, not on-screen. And I will be going over the deck list, obviously, when I do bring you guys a deck um, the next time I, we have one of these videos. For right now, though, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, us going over the... I'm assuming what was the um, expansion... The little expansion challenges here. All the different mechanics they introduced and whatnot, how all this works. Now we... I, I would say that is us completely done with everything tutorial related in this game. Uh, hope you guys actually, you know, hope this actually helped you guys out. Um, if you, you know, were just looking to understand this game, same as me. And... Yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next uh, video of Rune Terror. Again, that I will be bringing you a deck. Probably not a good deck, but I will be bringing you my first attempt at a deck. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll join us for the next one.